morning folks. Today we're going to be taking out this factory regulator switch plate and we're going to replace it with another factory regulator switch plate which includes the harness. So I'll show you guys the process of that and what all it takes to replace the uh, main harness and the switch panel in this regulator. Okay here's the new switch plate and uh, main wire harness. Uh, as you can see it comes with a new 12 volt socket and all the plugs and connectors from the factory is already there for your, your main power and your fuse panel, fuse block, and all that good stuff. I'm going to start out by removing those four screws and holding the plate on. And then from there, most of the work will be inside the console. Um, I've already started disassembling some of this stuff. Uh, we installed a really uh, big garment system in here, so there's a lot of wires running along this main trunk. Try to leave most of those intact. And if you get to your harness down here, you're gonna get those screws out with the straps. So it goes both ways here. We're gonna start this way and work our way over. And we'll eventually end up down below. All the way down here in this main harness. But I'll uh, show you more of that when I get there. And, uh, there's some more of the harness there. So, stay tuned, I'll get you going in a minute. Main wire harness on. Uh, here and here. Um, this is part of the harness here. It feeds your uh, accessory fuse block. All your grounds jump to here, and there's a power feed here. And this power feed ends up jumping up to the E box for another fuse block up there. But, I undid those screws, the clip for the compass, and I'm going to unscrew, oops, unscrew the feeds in here, okay, let's get those loose, I'll just let them hang for a minute, this tracks back all the way to the switch panel, so that'll be one part, one part of the drunk of wiring right here. I'm going to show you guys that. So That's where I started. Goes from the accessory fuse block all the way back to the switch in the main trunk. And uh, I think the next part I'll tackle is underneath on the other side. Alright, on the other side, which is the starboard side, I started on that. And right behind the switch panel, you'll see a hole going down right there. That's the harness trying to get out this part of the harness here. So this part goes down to the compartment below and runs down here, runs down there, goes along the console right here are the two plugs. Okay. And what those do is they end up going up to the T-top to feed your lights, navigation lights, accessory lights, all that good stuff. Um, but I have it unplugged. I'm going to pull that back through and up through that hole there. And then I'll start on the port side, which will probably be the hardest side because of the majority of wires in it. Okay. Alright, for the port side, harness comes across, of course. And it goes down a hole right over here on the port side of the console. And it goes down right there. Right there. So I cut all those zip ties, got it freed up, up to that point. And then I come down to the lower part, and I'll show you it comes out right there. And all that main harness. So I cut all those zip ties that hold it in place. There's a few um, ring terminals here and there. There's a plug down there, you got to take that out. Um, it focuses in, there's a screw holding the uh, clamp right there, you gotta take that off. And a couple fuse holders and clamps, but eventually it all ends up down here in this area. Okay. So you wanna get that out, get the zip ties cut off, get it freed up. Um, I had to take the battery out to get to this. Um, what I like to do when I take the battery out, just so I can remember how many wires are on the battery terminal gather them up and zip time together that way you know that went on the 
battery. Um, if you have multiple batteries, you can just label it battery one, two, or three. That way you know where and how many went on each battery. But um, yeah, let me get this out and I'll get back with you. Uh, I'm done from all the clips. As you can see here, there's the clips going into the boat. Um, pulled it back up through. There was a clip over here for a uh, light. <clears throat> so I did that. Brought it up. Um, I fished it all the way back through all these wires. We're going to go back and clean all up and zip tie up. All the way back to here. You can see. Here it is. Clips unplugged. Um, one thing you need to know is you do need to unplug this, which feeds, I uh, believe, your fuel gauge to your gauges. Uh, pink and yellow wire. Unplug that. Uh, another clip here right behind the switches. Probably feeds uh, some sort of pump. And then the 12-volt uh, socket. Unplug that as well. And that should be it. Pull it out. Let's see what we got. this ready to go back in and I'll be back with you. Switch panel prepped before I put it in. Um, a lot of the wires, like your pink and yellow for your fuel gauge, they're bundled up and taped up. So go ahead and untape those. It's a lot easier to do outside the boat than inside. Uh, same thing with your little cockpit light. It's taped up, as you can see here. I'll go ahead and untape it, get it ready. That way when I feed it through, it's already untaped and ready to go. I don't have to fight it in the console. Um, as far as the uh, port side is concerned, you got three large clips, as you can see here. One smaller clip with a fuse there. And then the uh, cockpit light. Okay, so four clips and two butt connectors for your light. Starboard side and the leaves here. You got just your two clips there that run down under the switch panel. And then behind the switch, you got your wash down clip for your wash down pump. That plugs in there. Of course, your fuel sender and um, your 12 volt socket, which is really nice to sent you a new socket as well because uh, the, the one in here is corroded pretty bad. So, what I'll do is unclip these, uh, unscrew the other one, and mount this one in there first before I put the switch panel in there. But, uh, I'll start getting that going. I got the new switch panel on the dash laid out, ready to go in. I went ahead and replaced the 12 volt plug that was here. Um, I think what I'm gonna do to make it easier is go ahead and push these two wires and plugs through the hole right here. Now, because I have the room to do it, and I think it's a lot easier this way, it's a little tip. Um, also, get, probably make this connection too while I have it here, which goes to your uh, wash down pump here and then I'll feed the port side in and um, I believe it should go in easier that way we'll see I'll be back in just a minute okay so I got most of the trunk of wires fed back into the console what I did was put the plugs in the hole first on the starboard side push some of the slack down in there and then I fed in the port side um, I fed it across the dash under the gauges all the hookups pushed it down the hole and fed the slack in as needed instead of shoving it all in the dash and trying to deal with the slack and putting wire down the hole and it, it's just a lot easier this way one thing you need to know is that uh, these two plugs here 
they're pinned and plugged identically. You can mix them up. Uh, the yellow and red on the far right side of the switch, that's for your head. So you can flush your toilet down there. So uh, plug that one in to the yellow and red. Make sure the wires, you know, correspond. Um, this one's got the brown with red stripe and yellow, uh, and that plugs a little farther in there. That will have to be plugged in once you get the switch mounted back in the dash. Um, wasn't too bad getting those wires in there. I thought it'd be a little worse, but just take your time. Unplug what you need to unplug. Plug it back in one by one. Let me get started on getting this put in, and I'll be right back. I wanted to show you guys that this is that plug I was telling you about with the brown and red stripe wire and the yellow wire. See, it plugs in right back here, kind of behind the 12 volt socket. Um, as you can see, I ran the 12 volt socket wires and went and plugged them in as well. Your orange is positive, yellow is ground. And also, uh, the second gauge to your right is where the fuel gauge wires hook up. And they only hook up one way, um, yellow to black, pink to pink. I just want to show you guys that. And I'm going to continue on and hooking up the fuse block first, the compass light, and then I'll go down and tackle that down below. Right. Okay everyone, I got the switch panel back in, bolted in, or screwed in as you say. Um, all the wires are zip tied back properly. As you can see, all the factory clamps are back on. Um, fuse panels hooked back up. Um, wasn't a terrible job, it did take some time. It's a little tedious. But if you take your time, Go slow with it. Don't rush it. It'll be just fine. Um, let's see. I got this connection right here. I want to show you guys. It's uh, butt connectors from the factory. So uh, butt connect and shrink those back like so. And your clamp, of course. Um, this side all back together. Back in the factory clamps. Uh, wasn't too bad of a job. Took me about an hour and a half. To install the wiring harness. There's the pile of zip ties I had to cut out. Uh, here's the new switch panel. Everything works good. I've checked it all. Um, I'll show you the reason why the customer wanted to replace this. You guys can see all that corrosion. Well, half the switches weren't working anymore, and the wires were corroded, so you wouldn't get proper voltage to the components and uh, some of the switches were just outright failing um, one of the reasons for that is there's no gasket around this switch panel as you can see here so right in the middle it doesn't make perfect contact so what I suggest you do which I did on this one is throw you a bead of silicone around that thing just get it nice and continuous um, that way it keeps that water out and prevents those switches from getting corroded in size. You can see how bad they are. And that will cause stuff not to work, flicker on and off, cause the breaker to trip from ampers being too high, all kind of things. Another reason is you're starting to flake from the powder coating off. So. Uh, I think you'll be happy now. Everything works great. It looks really good. This pretty much completes the whole dash that we've, we've done in this boat. Um, top and bottom. But uh, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing a lot more videos, how to's, um, you know, reviews and whatnot. Just pretty much anything boating, electronics. Uh, I'll be covering it. So thank you again. My name's Jeff with More Marine. Please subscribe.